Hello YouTube, today I'm going to bring you uh, my first video, which is going to be a review, because, well, I guess, oh, come on, it's just, it's a start. I kind of didn't know what to do. Anyway, so, uh, of course, it's after the name. I have, what, well, not better to start with what my name is after. Dope to her, I'm just kidding. Dalek, yes, it's a Dalek. So this is, um, there it says, Dope to who? Figurine collection. Crap, I can't zoom up. Anyway, cat, um, Doctor Who oh, figurine collection. Scale 1.21. Number 6. And, uh, here with the box, you get, um, shows off, shows off the collectible very, um, pretty well, you know? You get the, you get the front, crap. You get the front view of it. You get the front view of it right there. Pretty well. Got it in the flash right there. You get the front view of it. The doll looks very pretty well. Shows it off. And you also get a top view. And the bottom view. Oh god. Yeah, you want me to do the bottom view right now. So let's go to the back of the box. Here you got. It says, uh, it's by Eagle Moss Collections. The definite, the de definitive Doctor Who figurine collection, blah blah blah. You got the eleventh Doctor, Davros, Cyber Controller, and you got Weeping Angel. Dang, those, look, those things are creepy. Well, they are on the show. Not so much statue. Anyway, uh, Silurion, Silurion, or uh, whatever warrior, and the Dalek. And that, like, actually looks very different from the figure I have, if you don't notice, if you haven't noticed. Anyway, um, here you have, coming soon, the next wave of figures is due to release early 2014, so that means it's already been released, because this is 2015. You got the Sonotarian, um, General, the 10th Doctor, my favorite, Ice Warrior, Silent, Rashian, wait, what's that, Rassian, and Ood Sigma. The figurines, every character is shown in a, in a classic moment from a specific episode. And the doll kind of just seems to be staring. Anyway, classic in a special formatted metallic reason and painted by hand. That explains. Um, visit the website for details of the entire collection. Here we have legal garbage. Now let's just get down to the, now let's get down to the actual figure. Fortunately, since I'm recording this on iPad, I cannot skip it. So you're just gonna have to see me unpack it. Or whatever, I just do it right here. So I've already pre-opened it. So the dog slides out from its plastic box. Right here, I'm gonna put the box away. And this is what you get. You can see it's tied around right there. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do it. Maybe I'll just do it one day. It's easy, just untwist it. Unless you untwist it the right or wrong way first. And then pull the thing off and just got your figure. Now, since. Fortunately, it's dark here, even though it's not really that dark outside. Oh, here's a good one. Um, here you get a very nice-looking Dalek, Dalek, which, of course, I'm very proud of own because, you know, my account name is Daleganium. And if you don't know what that is, I guess it's supposed to be, like, Dalek or something. I don't know, whatever. What Daleks are made of, maybe? I just kind of came up with it. Anyway, so here you got your Dalek. We'll start with detail. We'll start with the top, of course. Here you got the, the top lights, which light up when the Dalek talks in the show. Which will, and uh, they look pretty, pretty nice. Focus. Okay, they look pretty nice, I have to say. But it does look pretty badly painted, I have to say. I mean, I mean uh, whatever. I guess it's supposed to resemble its glass or something. And then you got the eye. Um, yeah. 
the eye, I have to say, isn't that well painted. If you notice, it's dripping. Bill explains, explains, um, hand painted explains why. Hand painted equals not so good. Well, usually, depending on the quality. This is actually, anyway, well, neck. Here you got the tubes inside, whatever they are, wires. You got, as you can tell, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit, there's a little bit bleeding. Focus. Yeah, there's a little bleeding there. Um, the back, yeah, it looks all the same all around. Now, of course, since it's a collectible, it's like made of some heavy thing. Head doesn't spin. Um, alright, so now down to the chest. I don't think dogs have chests, but whatever. There you got, no idea what those are. I guess armor, actually. Um, look very nice. Uh, I haven't noticed any bleeds, which is pretty surprising. Even on the dots, which are supposed to resemble, I think, um, bolts. And now down to the plunger, which is this. Uh, which is, uh, because of the shadow like that. The plunger looks very nice. I'm surprised it has detail in it for its size. You got the exterminator gun. At least I think that's what it's called. Um, it very nicely detailed as well. Now down to the bottom. Here you just got the dowel round ball thingies. What I really like about this set that attract I mean not the set, the figure which attracted me to buying it was its reflectiveness. It reflects in bronze. That's very nice, I have to say. Of course, that's one of the main reasons I even bought this thing. I like the way it reflects. And um, that's kind of it for the top. Now the bottom under the dowel. No idea what those are. I'm guessing one of those is uh, jet things that make them find that ball in the middle is what makes them move. Because honestly, in Doctor Who, it doesn't ever show the dowel from under. No. But, of course, you just see them move around like this. Exterminate, exterminate, whatever. Um, so overall, what I think of this, it's very nice for co for collectors who like Doctor Who and Doctor Who fans is in general. But if you're looking to play with this or something like that, don't get it. I mean, its detail is very nice, but I mean, it's just not meant to be played with. I mean, if you drop this thing, you're screwed. It's done. Uh, the plunger doesn't move. It doesn't move at all. So if you're looking to play with this, you. If the kids are looking to play with this, I'm going to say they should get an action figure where everything actually moves. Of course, that's what I expected out of this thing, but it turns out it was a collectible. Which I guess, better. Because I'm not really... thought it would be a figurine so I could twist the head and make it look at you while you're sleeping. And have those nightmares of exterminate. Anyway, so, out of on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this an 8. No, actually a 9. It's very nice. And uh, this is my first video, so thanks for watching. I also forgot to mention those thingies, whatever they are on the eye. Um, yeah, it's some, some good detail, but bleeding. That's the only problem with this, bleeding. And also drips on the eye. Okay, so thanks for watching my first video. Um, subscribe if you want to. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in another video. Bye.